From the Icelanders' purebred sheep come some of the lightest woolens in the world, a major export. The Icelander loves vivid colors and daring design. And by the way, the beautiful faces of Icelandic models are popular in the salons of Paris and New York. The bold designs of Icelandic jewelry reflect the boldness of the land. Icelandic artisan fashions everything from headwear to undergarments with an eye for comfort and style. Warm enough for a trip to Greenland, largest island in the world, seven times the size of Great Britain and home of the glaciers that feed the icebergs into the North Atlantic. It's only an hour and a half by jet from Iceland. This man has just brought some green plants to Greenland from, guess where? Iceland. Nearly all of Greenland's 45,000 people are Eskimo, administered by Denmark. Legend has it that Eric the Red, banned from Iceland, called this place Greenland to attract settlers. That was before truth in advertising. The water is so near freezing that it appears oily as it parts for the prows of Eskimo boats. You can prowl through the ice flows and icebergs yourself. A frozen green and blue world that has an eerie and crystal beauty of its own. A majestic vision of the ages of ice. Iceland is a little smaller and a little greener. a little more colorful. A little gentler. A little livelier. And a little more hospitable. The Icelanders have been molded by this land, born of lava and the sea. And the shapes and colors of their homes make a pleasant contrast with the land, or merge with it. This is one of the few places in the world where people have to mow their roofs. Traveling on, you might have to share the road with some non-tax-paying Icelanders. The landscape is forever changing. Volcanoes in a million years could double the size of this country, still in the process of creation that comes in fits and starts. The barren volcanic hills and plains are more like the moon than the earth. In fact, American astronauts trained here for their lunar voyage. Life struggles to gain a toehold in the lava and ash of past eruptions. Some volcanic areas harbor caves and pools of hot water. No one should miss these romantic grottos. Next to the fire is Iceland's ice, 
glacial snow and ice cover barely one eighth of the island a small part of the country's singular world but a dazzling and magical element of the spectacle that is iceland Blending of fire and ice and water and man create a magic, a spell, that has hung over Iceland for centuries. There is a mystique here, a closeness to nature and the works of God and the unknown. The Vikings were first pagan, then Roman Catholic, and finally Lutheran. A healthy superstition persists in a land that breathes a steamy breath and creates castles out of rock and ghosts out of shadows and out of history. Even here on the outskirts of Reykjavik, the capital, are two boulders where some say live impish trolls. The 20th century whizzes by on the pavement, busy with its daily affairs. But barbed wire keeps the trolls in and the 20th century out. Only a few Icelanders believe, but in this country, a few is enough. Iceland has become a rock hound's delight. You can buy a little bit of Iceland at roadside or go and gather it yourself. And marvel at the stratas of sea life five million years dead. Take a little bit of Iceland home. This is a kitchen bus, another Icelandic phenomenon. It follows the Icelandic safari, a bus tour of the island of one of two weeks. With hot meals cooked on the spot and a hotel or a school to sleep in, the participants come from all over the world. <laughs> Some nights are spent in the coziness of a tent under the stars. The autumn morning brings the friendliest of neighbors out for a stroll before breakfast. What a way to greet the day after a night's sleep on the softest of mattresses, the moss that covers the countryside. Then for a country breakfast of blackberries hidden amid the tiny leaves. That duck was no fool. The glory of fall in Iceland's changing countryside is unlike the season anywhere else. Each day brings new adventures. The deep pile of the velvet moss carpets the meadows. It's like walking on air. 